I am Nathaniel Ruffle Jance, and you probably recognize me because I've been all over this channel over the last seven years or so, and I always say, hey, I am Nathaniel Ruffle Jance. I am the editor in chief of ZeldaInformer.com, and well, I am technically until April 30th. You see, I am moving on from Zelda Informer after eight years at the site, and apparently I'm allowed to take this channel with me. Um, if you didn't know, Zelda Informer is owned by the person who created, founded, owns, and operates ZeldaDungeon.net. Uh, an excellent website for all your Zelda walkthrough possible needs. It also has a pretty in-depth wiki that might not be quite as good as ZeldaWiki.org, but it's getting there, and it does things a little differently. Uh, but I'm not really here to pop up them too much. They're doing very well for themselves. Uh, they know what they're doing. Uh, Massius does a fantastic job running a walkthrough-based website. Uh, and he owns and operates Zelda Informer, and they're going to be going in a different direction. So, where does that leave you guys? I mean, Zelda Dungeon has a YouTube channel with 100,000 plus subscribers. Is he really going to put in the effort to keep Zelda Informer's YouTube page and Zelda Dungeon's YouTube page ticking? Well, the fact that I'm here talking to you means no, no he's not. However, there is good news for all of you subscribers out there because I am not going anywhere on this channel. In fact, as of today, as of the posting of this video, I now own and operate the Zelda Informer YouTube channel. However, it's not going to be called the Zelda Informer YouTube channel because I don't own Zelda Informer. So it feels wrong to use their branding on this channel. Now, I had considered multitude of directions for this. Maybe I should just keep it a Zelda channel and do just you know more Zelda goodness for you guys, which we are clearly going to be doing. However, uh, I do run an entity called Nintendo Prime uh, that you can find over at nintendoprime.net. And it's a lot like Zelda Informer, except for all of Nintendo. So I've decided to transition this YouTube channel into the Nintendo Prime YouTube channel. Now, what does this mean for you? Simply put, you're going to get more content in greater variety about, well, Nintendo. Now, there are going to be a few changes, and some of these are kind of sad. Uh, as an example, we obviously are not going to be hosting the Zelda Informer podcast anymore because we are no longer the Zelda Informer channel. Chances are that's going to transition over to ZeldaDungeon.net. So if you follow this place for the Zelda Informer podcast, you can go subscribe to ZeldaDungeon.net. I will put a link to their place down in the description, and you can enjoy the Zelda Informer podcast over there. However, that doesn't mean we're not going to have a podcast here. In fact, Nintendo Prime already has an ongoing podcast hosted by me, uh, over on our old YouTube channel, which I kind of just got rid of. Uh, so we're going to be porting a lot of the old content over. So for a while, some of the podcasts might feel a little outdated. Um, I might backdate some of the video posts and make it so it doesn't appear as a new video in your guys' subscription. But if you want to go back and look at old podcasts, you can. However, the idea here is that the Nintendo Prime podcast is everything the Zelda Informer podcast was and then some. We obviously talk about Zelda, but we talk about everything there is to do with Nintendo. Uh, and that's important with the Nintendo Switch on the horizon. Now, what else can you expect? Are we done posting about Zelda? Of course not. Uh, an old series I used to run called Zelda Inquiries is going to be coming back in a new way with a new format. And that show is literally talking about nothing but Zelda. And if I have it my way, that's going to be a show we put up every single week. So stay tuned for that. Uh, the Boss Man is going to be returning as well, which is a weekly opinion show uh, where I kind of take a stance. In fact, on the Nintendo Prime old Nintendo Prime's old YouTube channel, I was actually rebranding it to the Chance Stance. I know, really lame, right? Uh, so it's nice that I have this channel now because I can reclaim my boss name, my boss man moniker, and run the show under that title. Again, new format, new way of editing, new way of everything. It's going to be awesome. I actually already have like the first quote-unquote episode of the rebooted Boss Man. Uh, in editing right now, although I might have to record a new intro and outro since I called it the Jance Stance. We'll see if I have time to edit that out. Um, but here's a change with the podcast. So the Zelda Informer podcast posted every Friday, or almost every Friday. Uh, in the past, it posted every Wednesday, and it was an hour to an hour and a half long show. The Nintendo Prime podcast is a little different. So every Monday, we release the full audio version over on Podbean and iTunes. Okay, So you can get the full one hour, one hour, 15, hour and a half or so long episode over there every single Monday. However, on YouTube, we feel that hour and a half long videos are not necessarily 
the greatest way to grab attention or to really give homage to the topics we're talking about. So Monday through Friday, we release each section of the podcast. So our podcast at Nintendo Prime is done in five sections, and each section will release one on Monday, one on Tuesday, one on Wednesday, Thursday, and finally on Friday. And each one of these videos will have a link to the full audio podcast down in the description below. Now, if there is a chance that you guys want the full video podcast as one single video, please let me know in the comment section on the podcast episodes so I can give you guys what you want because you are used to consuming in that way. So if that's what you would desire, I will gladly oblige. Obviously, I want to do right by you. So we're going to have the Zelda Inquiry show going. We're going to have the boss man coming back. We're going to replace the Zelda Informer podcast with the Nintendo Prime podcast. What else can you look forward to? Well, if you liked videos like the Dragon Break video uh, and a whole bunch of the Zelda analysis videos, we're looking to continue those videos. We're not going to stop looking at Zelda. I have been running Zelda sites for 18 years. I'm not going to just forget all about Zelda, especially with Breath of the Wild on the horizon. So we're going to continue to make those Zelda videos. In fact, we might even draw in some of your favorite YouTubers, uh, whether it's HMK or Zeltic or really anyone out there, Commonwealth Realm. Heck, maybe we'll even grab someone from ZeldaInformer.com again to come chat with us about Zelda because that's how much we love the Zelda series. However, you can also see more than just Zelda. As an example, I could tell you two features we have coming over from our old channel that are absolutely fantastic that hardly anyone has seen. Uh, we have a nice retrospective look, uh, kind of a late review of Super Metroid, and it is an amazing video, and it explains why Super Metroid isn't great because of nostalgia. It's great because of how great the game is, and it goes into high detail, lots of footage, lots of great conversations, and that is created by Daniel, the person who brought to you the Dragon Break Zelda video and the last trailer analysis video. Uh, so the man who you're already used to hearing his voice is just going to have more content like that coming over. We also have a content about Shovel Knight's DLC uh, and how fantastic that is and how that should be the future of DLC. Uh, so we have a lot of really cool videos coming your way that aren't just Zelda. So we're going to be expanding the horizon, but we're not going to forget where we came from. I mean, you don't see us have a dedicated Mario show every week, do you? Maybe we will one day, but Zelda is the only dedicated show for a single franchise we'll have each week. Moving forward, at least when I see in the foreseeable future. So what do you guys get out of this takeover? And I'm air quoting takeover because you guys have seen me on this channel over and over again. Uh, you're just going to see a lot more active. We're going to have a lot more videos coming out a lot more consistently. And in fact, it might get to the point that we actually have a video going up every day. And maybe even to the point where we have a couple videos going up every single day. It really all depends on uh, what we decide to do in the future beyond the features I've already discussed. So you might be asking yourself, what the heck is Nintendo Prime in the first place? Well, outside of the fact that we're now a YouTube entity that's going to be creating a whole bunch of Nintendo-related YouTube content that we hope is different enough compared to what you're used to out there, uh, we also want to emphasize that Nintendo Prime is a community. So it actually starts uh, at NintendoPrime.net as a website where we post news, we post editorials, reviews, etc. And we're hoping to bring some of those reviews in video format, especially for the Nintendo Switch, over to our YouTube channel. So we're hoping to have reviews and all that stuff on this channel as well. But we'll have a written side to that so you can kind of enjoy both spectrums, depending on how you prefer to digest. Uh, Nintendo Prime is an all-encompassing community site. So we're all about posting the official news, our own thoughts and opinions, our own analysis, and things that you guys create. So if you have interesting videos that you want to share, if you have interesting content or fan art or anything like that that you would like to share to us or to our community, we are more than welcome to do that. In fact, there are multiple ways you can do that. You can send it in to Nathan at NintendoPrime.net. You can try to message us here on YouTube. Can't guarantee I'll respond. I don't check those messages as often, but... Um, you can also check us out on Twitter, and you could DM us or add us on Twitter. We are at Ninty Prime. You can also follow us on Facebook, which is Nintendo Prime uh, Camel Case Style on Facebook. If you just type in Nintendo Prime as two words or one word, you will find us. We'll be the first thing that pops up. So, in summary, this channel is about to get a whole lot better. And I hope you all choose to stick around with us, because I'm still here. The person you know and love that created most of the goodness you see here, uh, I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. We're just going to bring you even more variety of content that we hope you continue to enjoy. Thanks for sticking around. I am Nathaniel Rumpeljance, the owner, editor-in-chief, the everything for Nintendo Prime, and technically still editor-in-chief as Zelda Informer, at least for a few more months. Catch you guys later. Beep! 
Oh, by the way, if the audio sucked on this, I apologize. Um, this channel takeover was kind of like a last minute decision. So, uh, I don't actually have any of my audio stuff here. Although I got my, my lighting and this green screen back here and pretty nice looking camera, right? Hey, you win some, you lose some. 